Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone out there at Dream Build Success. Hello, hello, hello. This is LaShonda Gary. My name is LaShonda Gary. I'm the founder and CEO of Dream and Build Success. I wanted to come to you really quickly. Hello, hello. Thank you for chiming in. Thank you for chiming in. Hello, Miss Lakeisha. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. How are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Jordan, how are you? How are you? Grace and peace, everyone. Grace and peace. Miss Ashley is in the building. This is LaShonda Gary. I want to talk to you really quickly, guys. Hello. I hope your day has been very successful, very prosperous. I hope you've had a day full of prayer and promise. Um, hello. What I need you guys to do for me really quickly is to let everyone know that I'm on live. I have some really important information. Hello, Ms. Sewell. How are you? I have some really important information that I want to share. This is going to be amazing. Hello, Apostle. How are you? Grace and peace. Grace and peace. Y'all, my pastor's on. If you see Robert Campbell, you need to go follow him right now. He has amazing words. He's spoken into my life and I want to salute you today. So, I wanted to come really quickly and talk to you about 2017 prep. What are you doing? Hello, Lady Marsha. Grace and peace. Hello, Mr. Moten. How are you? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hearts. You know, if you give me hearts, thumbs ups, I grow taller. Okay? So, let's, grace and peace, Bishop. Let's talk about our 2017 prep. So, what are you doing now? I want to challenge you. What are you doing? So if you are already um, thinking about, oh, grace and peace, pastor. Y'all, I'm really blessed. My, Hey, Dr. Gretchen, how are you? Grace and peace. Go follow my pastor right now, Gretchen Campbell. She is amazing. Hello, Patrick. Who do we have on there? Mr. Patrick. Grace and peace. But really quick, I want to talk to you. I won't hold you long. I want to talk about your prep. What are you doing for 2017? You know, there's a lot of dreams. There's a lot of opportunities out there. There's a lot of promise out there. But what are you doing right now? I mean, this moment, this day. Did you pray today? Did you uh, seek God today? Did you read his word today? What are you saying unto God? Hello, my sister Stephanie's on. But I just want to say, what are you doing right now for 2017 prep? You know, what you do in this moment, what you do in this time, and what you do in this season is really going to determine what happens the next six months. I mean, for myself, my family, my business, for the people that I consider in my dream team, we are really preparing. So I want to talk to all the dream makers. You know, there are a lot of us that have a lot of big goals, a lot of ideas, and we want to really do something really amazing this year. You know, um, write down a word. What is your one word that you're going to stand on for 2017? You know, for some of us, we're believing for healing. For some of us, we're believing for promise. For some of us, we're believing for finances, for salvation, for business opportunities. So for everyone in the Dream and Build Success Network, I want to challenge you and everyone that um, is in my circle, you really need to come up with one word. What is your one word that's going to set the path? You know, for some of us, we were born as trailblazers. So I want to speak directly to the trailblazers. Okay, do I have your attention? If you are a trailblazer, I want you to really come up with something. Pray about it. Just don't think, um, you know, just come up with something. But really seek God. If you seek God, he'll tell you. You know, myself, Mr. Gary, for our household and our business, last year, our main goal was to go big. We really launched into the deep. You know, you've heard my testimony. You've heard the story of how God supernaturally has healed me. And I'm walking in that hill. I'm a miracle, literally. So with that, I had to go big. I had to play big when it came to my faith. I had to understand and read God's word. I couldn't take a day off. So every day, this next, the next few days, I want you to stand on God's word. Come up with one word. Then I want you to come up with a scripture. One scripture. That's it. That's not hard. I mean, you know, some of us, we, we, we go to the Beyonce concert and we know the, the lyrics backwards. I mean, really thumbs up on that. Okay. Like let's really put our house in order. Let's get our house. And when I'm talking about your house, I'm not talking about your physical house. I'm talking about this house. I'm talking about the heart matter. So for 2017, do you want your heart and your promise and your plans, your visions, your purpose, everything that you imagine for God to uh, manifest and for God's purpose to manifest in 2017? Are you doing it? You have to consistently focus on that. So let's say baby steps. 
baby steps. Hello, Dr. Courtney. How are you? Grace and peace. Baby steps. What I want you to do is write down something you can do right now in the next 24 hours. What's one thing? Is it launching that website? Is it going and just praying, waking up and then praying when the spirit of God moves you to pray? Can you do that? Speaking about your business, what are you going to do? Are you going to do a, a powerful uh, a connection, a collaboration? So in 2017, we have to start now. We have to start now. I see I have a lot of people going on, coming in. Hello, Mr. James. Hello, Ms. Sharonda. Latoya, how are you? Grace and peace. Blessings. I'm talking about this 2017 prep. What are we doing right now? Okay, so first we're going to pray. We're going to come up with a word. We're going to memorize the scripture. You want to stand on God's word. I'm a Christian woman and I'm bold about my faith. I do not apologize about it because I know that God is real in my life. It is my prayer that your house will be saved. Your family's house will be saved. Everyone you come in contact will be saved. Your coffee shop owner will be saved as well. Okay. So I want you to share your story. That's right. Miss Sandra, I see you chiming in. I want you to share your story. Miss Roshana, share your story. Grace and peace, Lady Sharonda. Share your story this year. Be bold about your story. Tell people about how God got you off a of dope and you're saved and you're bold and you're doing what God has called you. Write that book this year. You know what? You have to launch into the deep. So if you want big fish, you got to swim where the big fish are. You have to go into the deep. OK, so sharing your story, be transparent for some of us, because we have not been transparent. We're in a cage. My goodness, you are not a slave. You are not a slave anymore because you will not share your story. You will not be transparent. The enemy has put blinders on you to make you think that you have no value. So I want to talk to those people that are in that place. See, I know where you are because I've been there. I was in a place where I did not want to share my story because of judgment. And, you know, in the body of Christ, we have to stand and we cannot judge our brothers and sisters. And you may have gone through what I've been through, but you haven't been through what I really went through. OK, so share your story. Hello, Miss Alex. How are you? Grace and peace. Thank you for chiming in. So we want to come up with a word. That's it. Get one word that your children can learn, that your mother can learn, you know, that the dog can learn. Get um, a scripture. Find a scripture. Learn your scripture by memory. Get something that you can just repeat to yourself. Plaster it over your mirrors. Plaster it on the TV. Shut your TV off for a season if you need to. I'm, tell I'm talking about 2017 prep. If you want to go into the deep and you want some supernatural release, and you want to be healed, delivered, you want to pray in another level, you want to write your story in another level, you want to create that book, if you want to launch that large business deal, you have to prepare now. See, for some of us that really um want something we're already in may we're already in june we're in july you know so i want to speak in a accelerated way to you today so come up with that word come up with that scripture come up with a, a slogan what is something that your family can join in hello pastor roy how are you grace and peace man of god but you want to come up with something bold okay so lastly i want you to create that dream make your dream happen you know what? The oper the thing the the second you speak about your dream will be the second it starts to manifest. What you are seeking is seeking you. I'll say that again. You ought to hashtag that. What I'm seeking is also seeking me. Yes, that's it. You know, so until I shared my story and until I shared how God supernaturally healed me, you know, I was looking at the only option was surgery. That's it. That was my only option. That's it. And the the three days before I had my surgery, I was supposed to have my surgery. They could not find any issue. So I'm speaking with that same boldness and that same miracle working power that God has big things for you in 2017. So, guys, my name is LaShonda Gary. I don't know if we're friends yet. Maybe we're friends here, but go go over to Dream Build Success. Let's be friends over there. Um, you know, we are in the middle of doing our 2017 Women Who Inspire. So there's two categories. I want you to name two women or maybe name one woman in both categories. A woman who inspires with faith, a woman who inspires in um, business. So if that's you, if you are the woman, you believe, you know what? I'm a woman who inspires with faith. And in business, nominate yourself. Go to ldgaryceo.com, fill out the form, 
and I want to share your story. That's it. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. We want to honor the women who inspire. You know, there's something amazing about when a honor a woman honors another woman. You know, I believe that God is going to do something supernaturally this season. So, Miss Wanda, hello. Miss Dana, how are you? Miss Sandra, if you want a shout out, send me send me a smiley face or something or a thumbs up so I can see you're on. You know, guys, I'm super excited. I just wanted to tell you, you know, from I'm here and I'm fired up. You know, today was a, a different day for me, but I just thank God in it. So I don't know what you're going through. And some of you are on here because you need a word. I want to tell you, thank you, Miss Lakeisha. I want to tell you that God has something big for you. He has a success story with your name written on it. You don't have to be that abortion. You don't have to be that rape victim. You don't have to be, maybe you were the one that was the molester and you became um, the molested. I don't know what your story is, you know, but I do know that we serve a big God. And I don't know if you've gone through depression and oppression and maybe you feel like you have no voice because no one has ever said hi to you or maybe no one else has um, really encouraged you. I'm, I'm Miss Sandra, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you guys. You know what? I believe that God's going to do something supernatural. This is a different kind of, um, you know, live stream for me. Hey, Miss Wanda. Hi, Miss Monica. How are you? Grace and peace. You know, I'm excited about your future. Most of all, I'm excited about your faith. You know, if God doesn't do anything else in 2016, he's already done enough. He's already done enough. And I believe it. So for you and your family, if you're believing God for something supernatural, you have to know that God has not forgot about you. God has not forgot about you, that he's real and he's mighty. And if you are standing on that hill and or the mountain, you're standing in front of that mountain and you're looking at that mountain like you cannot make it through it. You can't go over it. You can't dig a tunnel under it. You have to speak to your mountain in your life, whether it's your finances, whether it's your healing, whether it's... um oppression whether it's um, mindset you need God to renew your mind you know I want to speak to people who are experiencing turmoil in your mind God has something big for you and he is real and all you have to do is say you know what God I just want you sometimes you got to cut people away sometimes you got to cut those friends away sometimes it may be family get in a secret place you know, there was a time when I needed my healing and I had to go to a secret place. And I thank God for that secret place because that's where I found my peace. That's where I found my hope. That's where I was able to create, dream and build success because I needed a dream of being whole again. I needed a dream of being healthy again. I needed a dream of being who God called me to be. I had to remember who he said I was. So if in 2016, if you don't remember anything else, give God praise in this moment. Give him glory because he's worthy. If your house is on fire because the kids aren't acting right, you don't, you can't get what you want for Christmas. You know what me and my family are doing for Christmas? I don't want nothing. I just want more of God. I want more of God. I will not be let allow um, the enemy to come in and make me think I need one more thing. I don't need one more thing. I will want more of God. If I can have more healing, more strength, more anointing, you know, there's a price you have to pay for the anointing. And I paid a price for my anointing. And through that, there came a new mantle. So for you, whatever you're going through. You're looking for a new career path. Maybe you're in corporate America and you want to go and you want to get into a, a new field. Maybe you want to write your book. Maybe you're a minister and you're believing God to grow your ministry. Hey, Keith, how are you? God, grace and peace. You're believing God to grow your ministry. If that is you, God's going to do it. And you say, you know what? I still got family members on drugs. I still got family members that are alcoholics. I still have family members that are sick in their mind. God will do whatever he needs to do in this season. I'll tell you one thing. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. And he loves you more than anything. Okay, guys. Well, this is LaShonda. And I'm excited. My little face, my little thing is, is about to fall. Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Let me fix this. Praise Jesus. Go ahead and share this while I fix this. You know what?
There we go. Praise Jesus. It ain't got real on Facebook. It got real. Come on, Lady Marsha. We fired up. We fired up because we believe God is doing something supernatural. Hello, Miss Veronica. How are you? I'm just sharing how good God has been in 2016. And I know a lot of us have gone through a lot of stuff. And I believe that God is going to do something supernatural. So for all of us that shared tears in 2016, I believe that there's going to be a supernatural release of power. There's going to be a, a generation of giants that's going to raise up, in, especially now. We don't have to wait until 2017. We're praising God now. He's real. He's real right now. So, guys, I'm not going to hold you long, but I, I celebrate who God is. I celebrate who he is in your life. And uh, Miss Sandra, I love you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you right now because the woman of God was bold enough to ask for prayer. And if you could do that on Facebook Live, that means God want to do something supernatural. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for Miss Sandra. I speak right to her right now. I say, have your way in her life. God, I thank you for a supernatural release. I thank you that God, right now, you're ministering to the women of God and her sisters. God, I thank you for healing, for power. Lord God, it is it's your spirit. Spirit and Father, I thank you for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Lord, now hit that house like a tsunami. I speak the anointing to go heal, deliver, and set free in the name of Jesus. God, we celebrate who you are in this moment. And I thank you for her boldness. This is one act of faith, God. So we believe and we touch and agree uh, across the nation, Lord God. Father God, just minister to them right where they are. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello, Miss Vonda. I have Miss Brenda. I have Miss Amanda. Miss Shanta. Guys, I'm just excited. I know 2017 is going to be amazing. I'm just going to clean this up real quick and I'm going to tell you. Okay, 2017, we talked about a word. Your family should have one word. You should come up with to uh, decree over your family. What is your one word? Last year, my one word was go big. Why? Because I needed a miracle. My only option was a life-changing surgery. I was looking at a month and a half in rehab. I had to learn how to walk. I had to go through six months of physical therapy. And I'm a miracle. And I'm not ashamed about the goodness of God. Amen. Hello, Miss Kathleen. Hello, Mr. Wayne. Okay, so come up with a word for your family. Number two, find a scripture. Speak a scripture over your family for 2017. After you get off of this, go find that scripture right now. I need you to find that scripture. When you find that scripture, make your have your children memorize it. Have your husband, the dog, whatever you have to do. Put it everywhere. Put that scripture, decree it over your family. I'm talking about if you want a real vision, if you want real promise and manifestation, if you need a miracle, if you need a move of God in your family, you need a breakout moment or a breakthrough moment, you have to do this. This is proven. I'm telling you what works. Not no smoke, not no, not no fake stuff. This works, okay? Lastly, you want to launch into the deep. I said earlier, if you want to launch into the deep and you want to get the big fish, you got to swim with the big fish. So go out there. Amen. Fort Hood Military Base. We're praying for Fort Hood. Grace and peace, man of God. Um, be encouraged. We're praying for everyone that's over there at Fort Hood. Hello, Prophetess Deborah. How are you? Grace and peace. We're talking about writing a word for 2017. This is how we're preparing. We're talking about coming up with a scripture. Make sure your entire family has that one scripture that they can memorize. The children have to memorize it. The husband has to memorize it. Turn your radio off for a season so you can you can really receive from God. There was a season for three months I didn't listen to the radio. There was a season for 60 days I did not look at one TV show. Why? Because I was after God. Hungry for God. You know what? When I wrote my book, Destiny, Strategies for Success, you got to really know what you're talking about. Because you know what? When you send it to publications, you're, you're really... A, Speaking about what you wrote about, you got to live that stuff. It's not fake. I'm telling you what works, okay? So, believe God for something great this year. Guys, it's been a blessing. If you will do me a favor, share this video. It got real. We prayed for somebody on live. Live. Where do they do that? 
You got to be bold. That's what you need to do in 2017. Be bold. Pray for people. Don't wait. If they say, hey, I need you to pray for me, pray instantly. That's what God do. He didn't say, oh, you know what? I'll catch you later. Or I'll catch you when I get everybody else on my knees. You got to pray instant. That's when breakthrough comes. Because you know what? While we were on live, when I prayed, other people started praying. I believe that this is our breakout season. Body of Christ, hear me. If you don't hear nothing else, God is real. Okay, I want to say one scripture, Luke 137. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Go visit my website at ldgaryceo.com. Let's be friends on Dream and Build Success. Well, until next time, my name is LaShonda Gary. I'm excited about your future. I'm excited about your brand. And I'm really excited about your faith. Okay, guys, if you love this video, the person that shared it the most, how about tomorrow I give out some, some shirts, five shirts. I'll, I'll, I'll give out five shirts. Just let me know your size and I'll send them. We'll send them tomorrow, okay? You should have them hopefully prayerfully by Christmas. That's right. God is quick. He's doing a quick work. Be blessed. We love you. We're praying for you. And until next time, be encouraged. Grace and peace.